Hi there. So in this video, we are going to see Android's table layout. So let's open your Android Studio and then you can choose from project or create new. So I have one demo project here named Toy App. So I'm going to use table layout within that existing project. So once your project loads, open Activity Main XML, go into the text mode and here you have to edit your default layout in my case it is relative layout and I'll also have linear layout inside it so I'm going to delete that so that I can write my table layout code here okay so let me just replace this with table layout and as you can see it immediately changes the code below okay we need to have XML and as declaration for tools in Android you can choose from layout width and height as match parent or you can choose fill parent okay it has padding left right with 60 dp and I'm gonna remove that okay once saved, we need to first create our row. So we will start with table row. And inside that, we will have first thing add Android ID. Okay, you can also have Android layout underscore width. as let's say wrap content then another android layout height adds wrap content again okay and you can also have android padding for Find it. Okay, so that's all I need to do. And finally, close your row. And inside that, you can keep on adding your elements. So I'm gonna add two elements. Let's say I want to add button. Okay, let's uh, first start with text as item one. Okay, can also add ID. And name it, let's say, B button one has your ID. So that is pretty much it. I'm going to repeat this twice. Just change my button's identification. So that are going to be Two buttons inside my first row and I'm going to repeat this again by adding another row so that we can see how it works okay this is going to be item 3 I'm going to be item 4 and we're going to change the respective idea for it okay now that everything looks correct let's check out design view and here you see your table layout here. Let's zoom in. And let's just narrow it down. Okay. And here you see your table view with your first row elements of two table, second row element of two. Okay, as you can see, the rows gets highlighted once you just take your mouse over each row so it gives you that grid like feeling here but it's not a grid it's basically a table layout so the more items you add in here will give you idea how this table view is structured okay so whenever you are adding your table on your layout you have to use 
table layout and inside that we make use of table row okay so this table row will basically let you add elements like your button and you can add edit text text view image button and then you have other elements that you can add as a radio button small text large text etc so whenever you, you are using android table layout make sure to use fill parent if your table is filling entire layout screen okay so this was a short introduction on how to use android table layout